Hey, you. If you like looking at this screen, use the Huckleberry. Nah, just kidding. But seriously. What's up folks, this is F-Bodies Live and today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Huckleberry Exotic Submachine Gun. Let's see what's up under the hood of this bad boy. So, first up, we got our intrinsic perk, Ride the Bull, yeehaw! Increases rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. Ah, pretty nifty. We got some kind of crappy barrel perk, nobody cares about that. Ricochet rounds, that's pretty good, increases your range. We got Rampage, uh, one of my favorites, pretty badass. You can uh, hold down the trigger and mow down several enemies and stack some damage. And then we have our short action stock. Again, probably nobody cares about this. And then we have our exotic catalyst. This gives you Ambitious Assassin, which overflows the magazine after you have gotten a few rapid kills. So, first off, how did I get the exotic catalyst? I had to farm heroic adventures on Mars and whatever other planets that I could find to do heroic adventures on. I was really lucky, it only took me about four heroic adventures or so to get the catalyst and it was really really easy to unlock. So what I did was I went to that regular adventure on Mars called, uh, I believe it's Hepathesis, I always want to call it Hepatitis, but yeah, don't get Hepatitis. But uh, you go to that little mission, adventure, and there's a mainframe terminal at the very end of it that you have to hack and defend. So just kill all the thrall in there and then have a rocket launcher ready. And then once it gets to 100%, just blow yourself up and rinse and repeat. It took me about 45 minutes to an hour of just straight doing that and I unlocked the catalyst really easy. All right, now that we've been over the catalyst, where to get it, how to unlock it, let's talk about the Huckleberry itself. So, the Ride the Bull perk is probably one of the bad, most badass perks in the game right now. It will absolutely destroy any small ads that you have. So you got your spinning up, you're melting ads, rampage procs, you're killing more ads, more rampage stacks come on, you're doing amazing damage. But see, this is where the problem comes in. This is the only thing that it really does well. There's no versatility with it. There's no, you don't get anything extra. You're just killing ads with it, and that's pretty much it. So, the, the bad part about it is, or the most negative thing about it is, is that it's an SMG, and it performs like an SMG. Uh, it's, it's fast fire rate, it's not, not very stable, uh, it's got a lot of recoil, the range is, is okay, it's not really like compared to other guns. And when I'm comparing the Huckleberry, I'm not comparing it to other SMGs, I'm comparing it to other primary exotics, mainly Crimson, because that's one of my most favorite primary exotic weapons that you can use in this game. And compared to Crimson, like, you're never gonna run this over Crimson in some kind of high level activity. And that's also another thing I, that I do these reviews on, is like, can this perform in a raid, or can this perform in a nightfall, or some heroic strikes even? And the answer is yes, for the most part. And there are good sections in the raid or heroic strikes or nightfall where the Huckleberry would be good. But as an overall package, I don't see myself using Huckleberry over Crimson ever. And that's where the problem lies. So let's get back to the catalyst, what it does. So you get some kills, you get some, you have to get a few kills, rapid kills. And in, from what I've seen is that you have to reload it before rampage goes away so if you don't reload before the rampage stack drops off you're only going to get 30 bullets in the magazine but if you reload before the rampage stack drops off you're going to get three bullets per kill for any rapid kills that you got the most i've ever gotten is 45 or i'm sorry 15 plus 30 is 45 so but that that's pretty rare you really got to be chewing up some stuff to get that high of a magazine capacity most of the time you're going to kill something and then you're gonna get like three bullets back because you're gonna kill one or two ads and you're gonna get 33 or 36 bullets back. Another issue that I have with the Catalyst is with the Ride the Bull perk and it's reloading your magazine instantly for you, sometimes it reloads you back to 30 and then you have to shoot a bullet out just so you can reload to get the extra bullets in the magazine, which is kind of annoying. And it defeats the purpose of, of the gun anyway, because when you're out there and you're spraying down 50 ads, like you don't want to stop to reload to get, you know, three extra bullets or whatever. So now the 15 bullets is nice when you can kill a lot of ads and get those 15. But in my opinion, if you're not going to kill it in 30, 
with this SMG, you're probably not going to kill it in 45. Just the way the health values work in Destiny 2. You're either going to have some adds that are really easy to kill, or you're going to have some much tougher things that are a lot tougher to kill. And that's, that's just kind of the way it goes. The, the perk itself, or I'm sorry, the catalyst, as much as people are having to grind for it, I've heard people doing like 60, 70 heroic adventures, and there's no way that the catalyst would be worth it to me if I had to run 60 or 70 heroic adventures to, to get it. Now, I'm a completionist, I'd probably do it anyway, but if you're one of those people that doesn't play a lot, like I'd definitely would not waste my time farming heroic adventures just to get this catalyst, because it doesn't really do that much for the weapon. I would way rather the catalyst increase the range and stability or even on the Ride the Bull perk, make it to where instead of you gaining recoil on the Ride the Bull perk, you actually lose recoil and it's more stable to help you secure that kill once the thing starts spinning up and you're just spitting bullets everywhere. So uh, these are kind of my thoughts on the weapon. I definitely wouldn't give it up over Crimson or even like Vigilance Wing for that matter. I think I'd prefer Vigilance Wing over it just because it's an SMG. The last negative thing I want to talk about is with an SMG, it just kind of goes along with the SMG archetype. You're having to be up close. You're having to run out there to, to try to activate these perks and, and make it make it work for you. And you're going to put yourself in danger in these high-level high level missions. Like any even heroic strikes. Like I, I felt like I was running out there in, in harm's way just to try to like melt some ads. And yeah, sometimes it works, but like a lot of times you're going to put yourself in more danger than what you're going to get out of it. You're gonna die, you're gonna kill like three things and die, which that's no good to your team. It'd be better to just sit back and pick at things. And you, the Huckleberry is not a good weapon to sit back and pick at things at. It doesn't have the range nor the stability for that kind of play style. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is this weapon can be good depending on the class that you're running. So I tried it on the Titan, it was okay. Uh, I didn't really like it. And then I thought about every time you get a kill with Voidwalker, you get Devour, and then each kill after that, you're healing as you're killing stuff. And I was like, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So on the Warlock with Devour, I like it better because you're actually getting healed. It's almost like Crimson then because you're, you're getting reload, your, your magazine's getting reloaded, and you're getting health on kill each time. So if you can burn through ads and you're getting all the health on kill, you kind of feel like a juggernaut at that point. And that's a really cool feeling. But other than on the Warlock, I would kind of pass on this weapon. And I would certainly pass on the Catalyst if you're not a completionist kind of person. Uh, with that being said, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Please like and subscribe. We're going to put out some more reviews and Catalyst reviews. Uh, if there's something y'all like me to review or look at, feel free to suggest it in the comments. And we'll see about doing it. All right. Thanks again. I'm out.